Hello there guys and welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever. And yes, as you can tell from the title, signing number four has arrived at Oh Well, before we get chatting about in him though, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you're not missing out on any of the latest content. Busy, busy week and Tax TV. Busy week and Oh Well ins and outs. Uh, and it, today, we now, uh, literally an hour after talking about an out, in comes an in. In Michael Hellick, uh, Polish central defender, 25 years uh, old. Today, actually, happy birthday, lad. Thank you for joining uh, the Reds. Uh, this guy comes as a long-term ta target, according to Dave Murphy. We've been looking at this lad for a long, long time. Uh, central defender, as I say, helping bolster that back line. Whether he'll be a first-team starter from the, the comments I get, I've seen... It looks though he more than likely will be. He's put pen to paper on a three-year deal with us. Um, so it's all positive. And I've got to say well done uh, to, to the football club for obviously getting this guy if he's been a long-term target and, and everything. And, and when they've seized, they've seized the opportunity and brought him over. And obviously I hope it works out for him and the football club when it comes to on the, on the pitch. Um, but... Uh, all I can say, guys, is like I said, we don't know too much about him. Obviously, he's played a lot of games in in his hometown. However, coming over to England, adapting, it's a lot different. We all know that. But if it's anything like Michael Solbauer, then it could all be with Rosie in the garden. Now, I'm looking at this as potentially with the system we play, with the three centre-halves. Jordan Williams has been one playing there. This lad plays there with Solbauer and Mads. This guy sits in between Mads and Solbauer. You've got Solbauer, the older head in there, the leader of that back line. You've got this lad in the middle and Mads as the young one who can help, who can look at this guy, look at Solbauer as well and uh, help improve himself there as well. Mads, since he came back from lockdown, has been fantastic. I hope that continues. I hope he gets a lot more consistent. Uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing this guy. He's gone straight into the first team squad for Saturday's game against Luton. And to be honest, you know, if he starts, you know, I don't, I'm not sure if he will start, obviously with him only re just joining, but we've seen it before with players. Uh, and listen, we, none of us have heard of him, none of us have heard of him, pretty much most of that Barnsley starting eleven. So I think what we've got to do is we've got to go with uh, the flow uh, and, you know, hope again on this guy. But uh, from what I gather, and when when the football club comes out and says it's a long-term target, all this and that, that that gives me a lot of confidence. Uh, but uh, so yes, from the on the football club side of things, uh, we are delighted to welcome uh, Michael Hillick to Barnsley Football Club after the commanding central defender signed a three-year deal with the Red subject to international clearance. Um, Adding further experience to our squad uh, for the 2020-21 campaign, Elik arrives after seven years in his homeland where he made 137 appearances in spells with uh, Krak Krakowia and uh, Ruk Kroh... Chorzow, Chorzow, listen guys, apologies if I pronounce anything wrong when it comes to this, I am so useless at that, but other than that, I don't I don't care, we've signed, we've signed number four, signing number four, hopefully there's more to come up the other, other end of the pitch, that also needs addressing still, I would say, before the transfer window shuts, maybe even before the season starts, but up to now, you know, adding this, again, people keep asking what's going on with Bambo Diaby, I don't know myself, hence why I had not spoke about it on the channel. All I can say, guys, really is I've heard rumours that he could be going. I don't know. that We're not hearing nothing regarding his uh, ban, whether it's going to be lifted. And I feel sorry for him. It's a joke. It's, it, it is really a joke. Don't get me started on that. But this guy coming in, hopefully it all works out. I'm looking forward to seeing him on Saturday against Luton. Get your comments in, guys. Like the video, subscribe if you're not, uh, and I will get through, obviously, your comments and see what you think on this. So, hopefully this is the last one of tonight, because I'm I'm quite tired, and these videos sat in front of these studio lights really just drain your heart. So, comments in, guys, and hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. You Reds. <laughs>